Refine your listening. Open your Pro Tools TDM session and insert the ARC plugin across your Stereo Master bus. In the measurement menu, you can choose the type of correction to be applied depending on the position and make of your monitor. In this example, the client couch setting has optimized the listening area behind the engineer's chair. Each frequency response graph shows three color-coded curves simultaneously. The orange curve represents the original measured response of your speakers and room. The white one represents the corrected frequency response of your monitors and room. And the green one is your selected target curve. Open the target curve menu to see the selectable target curves. The Odyssey flat curve corrects the response to flat from the low frequency cutoff point that your ARC system has determined for your monitors to the upper frequency limit of the tweeters. The Odyssey high frequency roll off curve should be selected if you feel that the flat setting still sounds excessively bright in your room. Both Odyssey flat and Odyssey high frequency roll off target curves are also available with mid range compensation. This kind of target curve is sometimes necessary to correct directivity differences that occur in the frequency range of your speakers due to the crossover circuitry or due to using horn loaded speakers. Full range base correction. In some rooms with especially odd low frequency issues, ARC's measurement system can be misleading and may set a low frequency roll off point that is actually higher than required, resulting in no correction applied to low frequencies even if it was actually needed. To address this, it's possible to disable the automatic roll off point detection feature, which allows ARC's correction to be applied to the entire frequency spectrum down to 20 Hz, no matter what roll off point in your speaker system is detected. Preferences. Clicking on Preferences will allow you to make Arc System restore the last used plugin setting upon opening and enable timing alignment between your monitors. Level Control. Use the Trim knob to adjust the level of the corrected sound. You can use the pre or post buttons to monitor the actual project level and check that the ARC process signal level matches. Click on the correction on switch to enable or disable ARC correction.